let's move up to the lecture. Yeah, we don't have enough time. So, um, first of all, um, do you guys know before learning Hangul about Hangul, we should understand who made Hangul for us. Yeah, who made Hangul and who systemized everything of Hangul. Is it okay? Rather than just we have vowels, we have consonants, we have bachim, blah 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 blah. You guys m must be confusing. So before giving, yeah, before before studying Hangul, we have to boost the interest and why Hangul was made. Is it fair? Okay, there is no response. So I'm gonna introduce briefly about yeah who um who um had invented hangul okay can you guys see the um so can you guys see the um see the picture i just sent uh, i just sent yes okay so to be honest this is my first lecture on this year and high local has changed so much so I'm used to this function so but after I set up everything I'm gonna share all this all this stuff and material to my private library later I'm really sorry about this but anyways um, have ever guys heard about the king's name King Sejong Sejong Dewang Sejong Dewang Yes. Of this name. Yes. Have you ever heard of it, Aki? No, it uh, happens. Okay. Uh, How about you, Oriza uh, and Luis? Uh, Oriza, uh, when I was the uh, ill yeah. Yeah, okay. How about you, Luis? <laughs> okay. I guess it's fine. So. The King Sejong, the fourth, jo the the fourth king of Joseon Dynasty, yeah, felt very uncomfortable of using Chinese letter called kanji all the time. So like because of kanji and because of um because of kanji, only the uh, only the elite people, I mean bourgeois people, I mean the you know the high class people only know. There, uh, only know the letters of kanji, so they can do everything they want, and they can dictate everything they want. So the like ordinary people, ordinary citizens in Korea, they got suffered, and they get so many like unfair situations because they don't know the letter. I mean kanji. So to be like more friendly, so to make. The citizens um, to make Korean citizens more like intellectual and try to give a lot of chances after knowing the letter. He wanted to give a chance to everyone. I guess it's not very easy to decide this kind of stuff because you know all the most countries that are politicians they know they're very, they used to be quite selfish and they are trying to show their power. To their citizens, but King Sejong was different, so he made Hangul, to yeah, which is easy to understand for Korean people, and he put his efforts about like thirty to forty years to make Korean alphabet called Hangul. So, is there any questions? Only one question. Well, well, well. So, Aki, you never heard. I don't know. Okay, then if there's no question, I'll step up to next person who had systemized Korean writing system. So, oh, okay, go ahead. It is uh, King uh, Sejong. Mm-hmm. 
who make uh, the handle and who modernize the, the Korean writing system. As I remember, Joe C. Kyung, something such like this. Ah, yes, Joe C. Kyung. I just uploaded. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very good, brilliant yeah. question. So keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to ask a question, but I will make it later. Okay. Make it later. Thank you. That was a good question. So King Sejong was born in like it'll be quite like boring stuff, but King Sejong was born in like 15th century. He was a king of Korea about like 600 years ago, and the linguistic uh, and the linguist whose name is Ju. Let's call Ju. The Ju was born in like 100 years ago. He was born about like 120 or 30 years ago, the early 20th century, when Korea was under Japanese, uh, Japanese imperialism. And he had systemized everything, nowadays Hangul. Before he was, before he had born, Hangul and Kanji was mixed and there was no blank. But Ju Si after Ju Si Gyeong had a connection with the, uh, how can I say? Um, the Baptist from America, he realized, oh, we should make a blank and we should modernize the Korean writing system. So after like 500 gaps, after 500 years that Hangul was made, Ju modernized all the Korean writing system. Yes, that's the history. Okay, if I go, if I talk about this too deeply, I think you guys most fell asleep. I don't want to, no, I don't want to give you sleeping pills in my lecture. So, um, can we just go the like system of Hangul, which is vowels, consonants, and bachim. Can I explain about this? This is just a like story about Hangul. Mala, are you alright? Can you step? Can you move next forward? Um, can you repeat uh, what did you say before? Before? Okay. So. I mean, from from the beginning of vowels, something such like this you mentioned about vowels. About what? Can I ask it one more time? I didn't get uh, it. You you mentioned about vows, uh, you asked us about something about vows. That's what I mean. Ah, no. Oh. So can we move up to the next part, which explains the Korean system, Hangul, system of Hangul, such as consonants, oh. vowels. I found it, thanks. Okay, then let's move. Yeah, if I say too much historic things about Korea, then you guys will sleep. I don't want to get now. I don't want to give you a sleeping pills in this lecture room. So let's move on to. Um, what was it? Okay. So can you guys can you guys see the system of Hangul? Okay. If you guys want to join, please come up. Can I, can I say? Yes, you can say. Okay, uh, the system of Hangul depends on three parts. Mm -hmm. uh, first one is the consonant, mm -hmm. and the other is vowel. Mm -hmm. And the final consonant, which is called Tachim, uh, and it can be having a, a double consonant or a single consonant. Perfect! You, you taught everything about what I wanted to say. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mala Mala. So, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, the system of Hangul is consisted of three parts. Three parts. Oh my God! Why my Japanese is typing? Three parts. First one is consonant. Second one is vowel. Third one is also consonant, but we call this bachim. Let's go bachim. Yes. To be honest, bachim means final consonant, but it's Korean original like system, like letter system. So I'm gonna call bachim. 
So, yeah. Any questions about the like the about the system? Let's forget about how to read all the consonants and all the like, vowels. Let's just understand the system of Hangul in here. Any any questions, Oriza? No. Okay, yes, there is sadly there's no questions. So let's move. Let's move to next part. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, let's gonna talk about consonants. Um in Korean we call this ja rip. Uh, um, Aki, can you say, um, can you say how uh, in Korean, how can we say consonant? I just typed, which is begins with J. Ja. 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 Um. Repeat after me. Ja. Ja. Um. Ja. Um. Oh, perfect. So we call Consonant in Korean, we say ja um, and we, and there are 14 consonants and five dual consonants. Do you know anything about five dual consonants, Mala? Uh, okay, uh, the five dual consonants, uh, it's uh, gigut, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, giak, mm -hmm. and uh, Mian. Mm -hmm. No mian. Uh, Biop. This one. Mian and uh, Biop. Yes. Uh, no, mian. I mean. No, non-mian. Uh, okay. And from these five uh, consonants, uh, the other consonants come from as uh, they uh, represent, uh, Giyok represents a sword, something such like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, mian is representing the touch of tongue to the sword. Uh, while Jigut uh, represents, uh, I don't remember it uh, so much. Okay, uh, that's fine. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah, so there are like five dual consonants. Yeah, five dual consonants, which is the stronger one. And also, um, I'm afraid I'm talking about talking about something like swear words in Korea. So. The 80% of Korean bad words used to start from these five dual consonants. Yeah, I'm not gonna say in this lecture because this lecture should be beginner friendly and no slang words. So, um, the dual consonants we used to pronunciate stronger. For example, um, let's gonna say this. I'm gonna show an example. Ga, ga, ka, ga. Did you know any difference, Aki? The pronunciation. Yes, the ka and ka. Ta. Ka, ba, ba, sa, sa, ja, ja. <laughs> Any difference? The first sound is ka, and the second is ka. Yeah. So in this case, we have to be more like pump, pump from our lung. Ka, ka, ta, ta, like this. So this is how Korean, like Hangul's cons consonant, is consisted of. So, any questions? Mm, uh, can you pronounce it again? Uh, I will slowly pronounce it. Ka. 
까. 다. 따. 바. 빠. 사. 싸. 다. 아, 아니, 아니. 자. 자. 응. How was it? Okay, I got it. The one is simple and the other is very strong. Yes. So, yes. 가, 다, 바, 바, 사. And 가, 다, 바, 사, 자. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, so for example, we say 가 means go. 가, yeah. Okay, so 가. Means it means go and ka means kick. So da means o and ta means um, bullet, bullet. So, to make it easier, we can already know four words. Ka, go. It's like ordering to someone. Ka, and ka. And when, when, when you play football, ka, and then kick. Or if you want to refuse a task, it's slang, but ka means refuse it, just kick it out. And da, means all and ta means a person or a student who get bullied no friends mm -hmm. so can you pronunciate aki can you pronunciate how can we say go in korea go huh. and how can we say kick kick out refuse huh. ga Yes, I recommend you guys to pronunciate the dual, the dual consonant, pronunciating more like longer. I mean the longer, like ka means ka, 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 ka. This will be more, more, more clear. Can you, can you repeat it, Aki? Ka, ka, perfect. And Mala, can you repeat? How can we say all? Or? Da. And how can we say bully? Da. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so, when you try to pronounce it dual consonant, just do it longer. Ga, da, sa, ba, ja. Did you get it? Is everything okay? Aki and Mala. Yes. Yes. Oh, 다들 감사합니다. So if there's no question, let's step up to another, um, uh, yeah, another, yeah, next one, which explains vowel. Okay, Oriza. Bye bye. Adios. So. About the vowels, there, the Korean vowel system is consisted of 10 vowels and 11 dual vowels. I'll let you know later. But, okay, so, um, for example, what I said is A ah means A. Ah. Yes. A. Ah. It represents a and o is like o e e and a e u e o yes just let's just know about this yeah let's just like understand these stuff so ga go Yi. Yes, we say like this. So, 
for example, like gogi means meat. So, Aki, can you repeat? How can we say meat in Korean? Gogi. Gogi. Do you like gogi or are you vegetarian? Which one? Mm, I like gogi. Gogi. How about you, Mala? Do you know, do you like gogi? Do you like eating gogi? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, we can, so, like, with these 10 vowels, we can make so many different, um, we, we can make so many different, there's uh, so many, like, different kinds of, like, Korean vocabulary. Gogi, and also, like, how can we say? Um, yeah. Gogi and Gogi and how can we say? Um, ga. How can we say? Um, just uh, let me l let me check about it. Um, go. Go. Like Gori, like hook. Yeah, we can make this kind of like stuff. We can make this kind of like stuff. And also, when we talk about the dual vowels, which is consisted, for example, like a, e, u, e, o, we have only five vowels in English. So, e, this is consisted of like this one. And also, uh, and a, e, u, e, o. Ah, sorry. U is single one. So U is like this one. So A, E, U, E, O. And when, when we say E, we have to use dual vowels, which is composite of um, O plus E. Yeah. Let's just ignore all the theories. So, for example, Ge means crap. And ne means yes. And se means se se means age. Yeah, we can make this kind of hmm, well, the, we can make these kinds of words, and this is how we call dual vowel. Is it okay, Aki and Mala? Uh, Mala, any questions about the system of vowel? Let's just forget how we can learn, how we can um, read one by one. Let's just understand system. This is the main focus. So, any questions? Mm, no, thanks. Okay, then I'm gonna proceed next lecture. And if you guys wanna come up, just don't be shy and let's enjoy the Let's enjoy the lecture together. Hold on a second. Hmm? What? Eh? Hmm. What happened? Hmm? Why there is no here? Oh my bad. Why doesn't this like unload? Hmm. Oh, hold on a second, sorry. So, um, I just pinned something. Can you guys walk? Can you guys see? I just pinned about the, about my like feet, which explains about Batshim. Can you guys see it? Yes, I see. Oh yeah, I, I think this, this, this must be better. Mala, how about you? Yes, I see it. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah. Sorry guys, because this is my first first come back lecture. I'm not uh, yeah, I'm not 100% understanding this like function, but I'll I'll get better. So, um when we talk about the batchim, 
Bachim must be can bachim can be vowel aki. Mm, okay, how about you, Mala? Why do you uh, think Bachim so? Bachim is only consist of consonants. Yes, that's definitely Aki. It's okay. We can learn everything from the mistake. Don't be hesitated. Don't be like, oh my god, my life my life is over. Don't think about it, think that negatively. It's okay. So Bachim is consisted of only consonants. So I'm gonna show and it is consists of single bachim and multiple bachim. So um, let's forget about the Korean you know, yeah, the, the, the Korean word which explains bachim. So let's say um, for example, like we can just say the name Mala. Yeah. Let's say mala. So Aki, which word do you think it has a bachim? The first one or the second one? Yeah, okay, two. Aki, which one? First one or second one? Which has bachim? Second one has bachim. Okay, so the Korean alphabet is consists of consonant plus vowel plus consonant, but we can say bachim. So ma la ma is one, la is two. So which one has a like final consonant, I mean bachim one. Aki. Okay, Mimi said one, and Aki, how about you? Two. One, correct. And now I'm gonna give you another quiz. Okay, Aki, so which I, uh, I just typed three letters of Hangul. So which do you think, which do you think there is no Bachim? Yes. One or two or three. What is your choice? One, two, okay, fine, okay. So I'm gonna show you some examples which has bachim. These are letters that has that have bachim. Yeah. What do you think it is, Aki? Looks different. How different? Mm -hmm. Don't have consonant. Great. So I'm going to give you a quiz. You don't know how to read. It's, it's okay. Let's do something simple. <coughs> Sorry.
Okay. So, Mimi. Hello, Mimi. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Hello. So, hello. yeah. So, which one has button? One or two? Why do you think so? Why? Because the last letter is a it's a cont the content is not a noun. Bravo, bingo. Okay, then let's do another game. Which one has no button? Mala, which one has no button? Uh, second one. Why do you think so? Because uh, it consists of consonant and vowel, and it ends with vowel. Yeah, perfect. And Aki, be ready. You can make it. It's your turn, Aki. You should make it. Which have, yeah, choose, choose letter, letter which has bottom, which has bottom. Yeah. One, two, three, four. It can be one, it can be two, four among four, maybe at least two. Mm -hmm. Two and? Why do you think so? Two and three, okay, two and three. Yeah, why do you think so? Mm-hmm. Great! Perfect, Aki. Yeah, you can do it. You made it. Fine. So Aki, Mala, Mimi, and another like uh, yeah, another auditors, you guys did perfect. Okay, so this is what we call bachim. And we can have a dual bachim. But it's too if I keep talking keep explaining about this, it's very difficult. So I'm going to show you some examples how to use duo duo button. So for example, ka means prize and ba means outside. And And for example, halta means yeah, flick, suck. Yeah. So yeah, these words are called um, yeah. These were in the these three words we have dual. How can I say the dual bachim? So um, mala, can you explain the difference? between single and dual button. What do you think of it? What do you think it is? Um, okay, the single button or it consists of single vowels, mm -hmm. such like yuk, while uh, dual button is consists of uh, uh, sang, uh, of uh, dull vowels uh, of the, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, dull consonants, uh, something such like uh, sang giok. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I mean. Uh, I'm sorry for saying I record in, uh, in between my talk. Ah, okay, fine. How about you, Mimi? Yes. Uh, the, the single 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mimi is perfect. So it's the single, single button. Only one consonant. One final consonant. And duo button has two final consonants. That's the difference. Yeah. Let's be simple. So these are a system of Hangul. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys understand the system of Hangul briefly. If I want to, uh, if I, if I try to teach you how and how to read the vowel, so the, the, how to read all the consonants and all the vowels and all the, how can I say, um, all the double consonants, uh, the, the, the bachims, it'll take a lot of time. And I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna open maybe like, how can I say, um, free, uh, no, no, not free, the like paid lessons. You can guys only, yeah, pay like one bean and yeah, one bean as a like, uh, as a like entrance fee. And then if you guys enjoyed well, you can guys can give the more beans if you guys want. Maybe I'll post later about this. So, um, do you guys have any questions about um, uh, about um, the system of Hangul? Any question is welcome. Agusti, Yoi, Mimi, Mala, Aki, you guys can ask whatever you guys want. Okay, go ahead, Mimi. I don't know. Are we going to learn Bachim again? Mm -hmm. um, I hear that sometimes how it's written is different from how it is pronounced. Pardon? Uh, does it sometimes change sound like how it is written can be different from how it is pronounced? Is that so? Ah, yeah, bachim. There are a lot of like cases, so hold on a second. Mm. Wait a minute. Um, hold on a second guys. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm looking for the like um, I'm looking for the photo now, so Can you guys watch? Can you guys can see? Yeah, I uploaded a new pin. Can you guys see well? Yes. So, when it comes to like, yuk and so like, we have um, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven kinds of dual consonants, uh, dual bachim. And we have this kind of like rule for example not not means mind hold on a second i'm gonna type it for example not means mind i uh, saw and anta
Anta means like sit. And what I just said before, gap means rise. And chicken, duck, we say no duck, but duck, duck, blue duck, chicken. So like, for example, you, it's a very spicy ramen called buldang ramen. We use this duck, so duck. Yes, so there are a lot of rules yeah, you guys must to memorize how to read, uh, how to pronounce these kinds of dual, uh, dual button. Maybe later, not now. Um, it's my explanation clear. I'll teach it more deeply later. Is that um, is that everything okay, Mimi? Okay, fine. Um, so let's gonna practice. Let's gonna pr no, I mean not practice. Just review what we have done. So um, how can we say? Um, yeah, first one, Aki. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna ask Aki. Koki, for example, like. For example, we have this kind of word and which has no bottom letter. Which has no bottom letter among three letters. Yeah. I'm giving maybe my answer will be quite tricky one. Yeah. You think the second letter? You mean what? The, the second letter, you think? Yeah. None. It has O bottom. All, the answer is, all words, all letters have, have button. Yeah, the answer is, all letters have button. It's okay, you can ask me, uh, ask me later. And next one, um, Mimi, which letter has Zero button. The first one? Yes. Dakogi. Dakogi. We can say dakogi in Korean. Yeah. In Korean, we say it is chicken. Yeah. Dakogi. Chicken. Yeah. I mean, like baked chicken. Yeah. Dakogi. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry. Rare chicken. Yeah. Rare chicken. Sorry, sir. Rare chicken. Yeah. I must delete. How can I delete this one? Yeah, let's delete. Okay. So, good one. And Majimak. Last one. Mala. Mala. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Uh, which letter has no button. The second and third one. Okay, fine. Fine. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Joy, Mimi. I don't know. Joy, Mala. I'm sorry. So, yeah. You guys did all well. Aki, Mala, Mimi. You guys did all well. Fine. So, 
But today, I guess it's the end of our like learn a system of Hangul. Uh, the, the, the like briefly the brief lecture about a system of Hangul, and maybe next yeah uh, this upcoming like lectures I'm gonna upload how we can um uh, how we can read vowel consonant and bachim little by little, okay, and from ten uh, yeah the, from like uh, in like five minutes I'm gonna continue my new lecture which is self introducing uh, with which i'm all going to talk about self introducing yes so if you guys are interested learning this upcoming lecture yeah please join my lecture okay and if you guys have any questions feel free to dm me and i'm going to upload the like some parts of our lecture on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. So if you're interested to like, if you're you guys interested to, uh, to enhance your Korean skill with me, yeah, subscribe and like and follow my Instagram. It's everything perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, then let's meet in five minutes. I'm gonna prepare for this upcoming lecture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yes, Mala. Is there any text block uh, for the other lecture? Pardon? Because I was, I was asking for something such like textbook or textbook. No need. Yes. You don't need any textbook. Yeah. Uh, for the next lecture, because I will not be able to attend it. Ah, okay. Yes, I'll unload all the things on my Instagram page. So. You can access my profile and you can click um, you, you can click my Instagram page so that you can see all the references. I'll unload everything later, okay? Okay, thanks. Thank you, bye. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in five minutes in the le next lecture. Yeah, see you guys later. Ciao.